Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word, just to rest upon his promise, just to know, thus saith the Lord, Jesus, Jesus, how I trust thee, how I've proved thee o'er and o'er. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust you more. Praise the Lord. I found a really good chocolate chip recipe. So, saints and seekers, welcome back to the channel. I've been sharing a few recipes here and there along with the sweet word of God. And, uh, you know, there's something about, we like, most of us have a sweet tooth. And we tend to eat too much of a good thing when we make it sometimes. I do. And uh, we have to learn that the New Testament tells us to be moderate in all things. So, we're always counseling ourselves when we make something good to eat. But Proverbs 25, 16 says, Hast thou found honey? Eat so much as is sufficient for thee, lest thou be filled therewith and vomit it. So, you know, the Lord knows all about that sweet tooth. He knows that we can eat too much. I kind of fight my grandchildren on this. They, I'm trying to portion them sweets, and uh, they do the sneak back thing and get a little more than what I think they need. You don't want them to get sick at their stomachs. And you can get sick from eating too much sweet stuff. Anyway, I'm going to share with you this recipe. This uses a sea salt in it. And that gives that little salt flavor to it. And also toasted pecans. So, a really good chocolate chip recipe. And what happened with mine, if you think the chips look a little funny. You know, I had left some chocolate chips in the car when it was warm. <laughs> So it melted into a block. So I chopped up the chunk of chocolate. So these are more like chocolate chunk cookies. They taste very good, so it just works. The chocolate was still good. Anyway, use about a half a cup of pecans and put them in the oven at 350 and toast them while you're starting your cookies. In a bowl, put a half cup of slightly melted salted butter real butter and if you do use unsalted we'll add a little bit more uh, sea salt in a moment i did use unsalted in these and i added just a little bit more sea salt when i got to that part of the recipe but back to the bowl uh, one cup of butter i melted it just a little bit in the uh, microwave because i didn't have it setting out before i started the recipe two cups granulated sugar, two cups packed brown sugar, and mix that all together. And I did all this just with a spoon. I didn't even turn my mixer on. And then add, after you get that mixed, add two eggs, mix that in, and a teaspoon of vanilla. And then I don't go to a separate bowl for my flour, etc. I just dump three cups of flour on top of that. I added a teaspoon of baking soda, kind of sprinkle it on top of the flour, and a half teaspoon of baking powder, which I sprinkled on top of the flour, and then one teaspoon of sea salt. So this isn't regular iodized salt, it's sea salt. It makes all the difference in the flavor of this recipe. So take kind of a fork and uh, scratch your baking powder, soda, and salt into the flour, and then stir it all in to the batter. Your uh, pecans should be toasted. You need to let them cool down before you add them to the batter because it will melt the chocolate if you don't. So I added a whole bag, 12 ounce bag of uh, chocolate chips, what was chocolate chunks for me, since I had to chunk up the chocolate, and then when the pecans had cooled, uh, added them to the batter, and bake it, make your little um, portions the size of the cookie you like. If you like a small cookie, medium or large, these are kind of medium size. 
and um, just bake them in a 375 degree oven. Sometimes when I make this type of cookie, before it's done, I'll take a spatula and I will flatten the top of the cookie and then finish baking it and it makes it a real chewy <clears throat> center on it which is really good with that crisp underneath side so a really good chocolate chip cookie recipe and uh, i just hope you're having a blessed worship weekend let's just take a moment and pray for our world heavenly father there's many things going on in our world and we pray against the enemy and his destructive plans we bind the enemy from our families we pray a hedge of protection around our families we plead the blood of jesus around our lives lord we pray for the souls in every nation father we pray that people will wake up that there is a true battle of evil against good and that there is one true god and that is you and we pray that they will turn with all their heart to you lord call on your name because you are faithful and just you will perform your word you will save those that call on you you promised you would so we pray for godly sorrow to come on those that are still in sin truly repent of their sins be baptized in the name of jesus for the remission of those sins and be filled with your holy spirit lord that they can walk this spiritual walk with you and be true followers of you lord jesus thank you for atoning for our sins thank you for food in the house and shelter transportation our clothing every need met father and we pray for those that feel like they are without right now that they are in a serious bind we pray against a spirit of hopelessness we pray against a spirit of suicide we pray against malevolent spirits in this world father that are going forth causing people to do things that are so cruel and so demented and we just pray a deliverance on people that are bound up with the demonic father in jesus name help us to share the good news of who you are jesus at every opportunity thank you for your boldness that you sent through the holy ghost Help us to be those bold witnesses you've called us to be. In Jesus' name, thank you for my chocolate chip cookies, Lord. Bless them to nourish my body. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.